Good morning and uh, welcome to my brand new uh, home office space. Uh, this only got finished yesterday and at last I have a proper lovely uh, space at home I can call my own. Uh, the space I was using before was in this room but it was a bit of a dumping ground for everything else uh, so it was never really sort of uh, tailor-made for what I needed it for but now I'm very fortunate to have uh, my own uh, dedicated office come studio space and to celebrate that opening of my new uh, space well not to celebrate because he's not here today Dexter's not with me unfortunately he's gone out for a very long walk today uh, he had a bit of a lazy day yesterday, I'm afraid. I took him out in the car somewhere and I didn't walk him. So uh, my wife's taking him out for a very, very long uh, Saturday morning walk. He did look a bit grumpy when he went, but there we are. Um, so instead of going out for a drive with Dexter today, I thought I'd talk about some of the must-have, or what I feel are must-have accessories if you use the Fuji X-T camera system. Uh, I bought an X-T20, uh, as you know, I think it was about the end of last October or November time um, to replace the my Nikon 1 camera I was using for making videos. So at the time then I had that Fuji X-T20 and I had uh, my Nikon D800. And uh, again, if you've seen any of these videos before, you'll know that my Nikon D800 died. It, um, it fell in the sea. I am over that now, just, because um, I, I absolutely adored that camera, but it's gone, well it's up the loft in a box, it doesn't work anymore, and I replaced it with this Fuji X-T2. So now I have two Fuji X-T system cameras and lots of lenses and paraphernalia and other stuff that goes along with them. Now these camera systems, don't get me wrong, are absolutely fantastic to use. They're very intuitive, they're quite old fashioned with the dials on the top as you can see. Um, so you haven't got to go sort of trawling through menus for lots of stuff. They are just good, fun cameras to use. <coughs> Excuse me. And the images they produce are stunning. But having said that, there are still some ways that you can make the system work for you better. And there are a couple of accessories that I feel are must-have ones, you might feel differently or want something different or whatever. Uh, but for me, uh, the first one initially is a good grip for the camera. Uh, I've got quite large hands and um, the cameras do have a small form factor, uh, particularly the X-T20. So to both cameras I added uh, these, I think this one's a newer or a newer however they call it uh, grip comes in three sections you've got the battery grip down there and then you've got i never know how to say this arca swiss this arca arca swiss i'm going to say arca swiss arca swiss l bracket now these are very very versatile so so if you find the grip fine for you you can just take this part off if you don't want the l bracket you can take the side portion off. So if you just want a base plate for your camera, you've got that. Or you've got the full on grip and the L bracket. I find the grip uh, makes the camera easier to grip. <laughs> it, uh, it seems to fit nicer in the hand camera, it makes the camera a bit larger. Uh, the Arca Swiss plates I like because they are really, really quick release, mount on, take off, change orientation on your tripod. Very, very simple. So I now tend to leave uh, this grip on this camera. There's an almost identical one available for the X-T20, um, which, if you use that, makes the form factor of the X-T20 quite close to that of the original X-T2 without all these brackets. So if you find the X-T20 or the X-T2 too small for you, these brackets really are what you need. Uh, they're not expensive, I think I paid £20 each for them. 
so they are by no means an expensive piece of kit. Uh, but I find they make the uh, use of the cameras a much better experience. The second thing that I fitted to my camera almost straight away is one of these soft release uh, buttons they screw into the, the shutter release of your camera without them well the shutter release is very very sensitive anyway but without them it's quite untactile it's not a nice item to sort of press down it's quite metallic -y. it's small uh, so the addition of one of these buttons um, makes the shutter action a lot lot nicer it, it, it seems a lot uh, more firm a lot more direct and a lot easier to half press uh, and then fully depress to um, to take your shot uh, again these are cheap I think this one was about four pounds but I bought a bag of four or five in assorted colors um, for I think it's one ninety nine on Amazon. Um, what I will do, I'll put links to everything um, I've talked about below. I don't have an Amazon affiliate program, uh, so you're not putting money in my pocket if you buy uh, from those. Um, yeah, but uh, check them out. The next item uh, I find essential actually um, is a decent flash. The XT2 doesn't have a pop-up flash instead they give you a small uh, plug-in hot shoe item uh, to use as a flash the xt20 does have a pop-up flash but like all pop-up flashes it's not very powerful so i've invested in a fujifilm ef20 flash gun which uh, obviously you attach to your camera's hot shoe thus so slick this channel uh, what this means is you've obviously got more flash power for a start but you can now rotate the flash head so you can bounce it it's got a, a small diffuser to use with wide angle lenses um, there's no other reflectors built in um, but yeah, it's um, a cheapish flash. I think it's around the hundred pound mark, uh, if not a little less. Um, but it really does mean that you can uh, use your XT20 and XT2 uh, with proper, proper flashes, and not the uh, pop-up one on the XT20 or the small little thing they give you with the the XT2. Another thing well worth having. Uh, this next item is not exactly a must-have, um, but it does make the camera fun to use, and that is an old-fashioned screw-in remote release cable. Um, I don't tend to use this a lot. I tend to use the camera's uh, two-second or ten-second self-timer function. But if timing is of the essence to catch an image, so you want to photograph a wave as it comes in or crashes out, then having one of these is quite essential now you can get like an electronic uh, remote control for Fujifilm cameras uh, and they plug into one of like the USB ports on the side but given that the Fujifilm cameras have such lovely tactile retro controls why not get one of these they're only about a fiver um, you might even go out one lurking around in your loft that's where I found this um, from old film days and this just simply screws in, you take the soft shutter you take the soft shutter release button off, i.e. that red thing, and you screw this in instead. And then when you want to take pictures, you just depress that and click that to bring the shutter back up. So depress and click. Um, it really does hark back to the old, old days of, uh, of film photography. Um, 
you don't need a fancy remote control for your Fujifilm because it's got things like an intervalometer built in so you can do time lapse uh, that's built into the camera so all you really need is a really simple um, old school retro cable release get one great fun last must have accessory for me is a wrist strap um, I don't think the camera is heavy enough to warrant uh, a full on neck strap though I do have one, I got a black rapid which I've had for years and years and years which is an excellent comfortable strap but these cameras and lens combinations they're not heavy uh, so you don't really need to have the camera around your neck all day uh, but for a bit of added security I like to use a wrist strap and the one I use is the Peak Design Cuff and it's quite an ingenious system you get these little buttons that attach to the camera strap holes on your camera and you just slide them in to this quick release system nice and secure and you've got a lovely wrist strap on the end of your camera for taking pictures if you want your camera safe and secure you've got the wrist strap anyway i hope you found this helpful uh if you have give me a thumbs up now uh, if you haven't give me a thumbs down um anyway uh we'll see you again very very soon but hopefully dexter will be back uh, in the passenger seat of the car and uh yeah take care and we'll see you soon bye bye